democracy is in danger too in some countries, right? You saw that some governments took advantage of this to pass laws that allow them to rule by decree uh, for this period, not only for, for the medical issues, but even medical issues. You cannot say that um, if you claim something which is wrong, you will go to jail for five years and then you can use it against your political opponents who may criticize you. I mean, these things, like in Hungary and elsewhere, there are some laws that uh, could be used um, against uh, uh, decent political, uh, let's say, disagreements, and, and uh, which has to continue. So we have to see how can our democracies also be guaranteed while we're under such regimes. Um, we need, we, we, we need um, central uh, direction for some things and control of resources during this period. And some decisions, yes, you have to stay at home. Sure, it's not pleasant, but I understand it as a uh, responsible citizen. But if you tell me that you can never again, for the foreseeable future, go out and protest because you may give uh, the virus to somebody, etc., then I say, find me another way to protest because I want to protest, right? I mean, if I disagree. Even in Greece, there is now um, a, a, a new uh, law about trying to re, revamp the um, legislation about nature and environmental protection. And there are a lot of disagreements. And it has now been submitted to Parliament to be discussed now. The Parliament is not really in session. I mean, very few people go there because they have to keep their distances. There are no regular procedures for um, committee work, environment committee, you know, they do it everything in a very short way. Okay, it's understood, but it should be mainly for laws that are about the emergency. If you try to pass now something which really changes fundamentally how you get um, uh, a license to build in an area, to build, a, let's say, a windmill in a protected area, and then you can destroy the protected area, right? We have to discuss this. You cannot do it right now. Uh, and, and we protest. We found a way with a petition. You can sign online, write petitions. And many people, if you have thousands, then the politicians will probably fill it um, and say, oops, something is going wrong here. Uh, and we hope they do. But that's an innovation that has come about over time, the last uh, several years. And we're using it also with FOGS. Um, and and Katoikos, as I told you, we call it the engage for better petition.